Fresh off the press, the MIT scientists have most recently found out the six anatomical layers of the cortex of the human brain show distinct electrical activities. These distinct electrical activities appear to be consistent both in humans, but also several other animal species. Throughout the cortex, neurons are arranged in six different layers within the brain. These scientists have now found that these six layers of brain regions show distinct pattern of electrical activities across the brain regions, but also across some other animal species. The electrical brainwave patterns that these scientists were able to show was that the top layer of the brain exhibited higher frequency waves such as gamma, whereas the deeper layer of the cortex showed lower frequency waves such as beta waves. These patterns of brain waves frequencies appear to be universal with human and also these other animal species that they controlled against, meaning to say that there appear to be a meaning to these sort of universal type of a brain wave patterns that we might have been missing up until. In brain disorders, these electrical patterns appear to be quite imbalanced. For example, in epilepsy, that could be one of the disorders where we have seen imbalance in the electrical activities of the brain. In patients with brain disorders, for example, scientists have observed that it is as if there is an instrument being played at the wrong time, in the wrong frequency, in an orchestra. That is how they perceive these imbalances of brain electrical activities with patients in, with disorders. Now, let's look at the layers of the brain activities within the brain. The human brain consists of billions of neurons, each of which emanate electrical signals at any point in time. Together, a group of neurons with the same type of electrical patterns emanate and create brain waves. Most recent scientific findings tell us that higher frequency waves such as gamma waves helps us encode sensory information in the brain, whereas lower frequency waves such as beta brain wave appear to regulate and control what type of information we retrieve from the brain. In the prefrontal lobe of the human brain, these distinct patterns were even more clear, where on the surface it appeared to be higher frequency waves such as gamma, whereas in the deeper level of prefrontal lobe of the brain, more of a beta or lower frequency waves were clear and shown. These lower frequencies in the lower levels of the brain also appear to regulate the higher frequency brain waves from the surface of the brain, or in this case, prefrontal lobe. These six layers of the cortex also appear to have distinct neuron types, neuron connection, in addition to the electrical activities that we just talked about. Most of the scientific papers that we have today from the neuroscience community tend to ignore these six layers in their studies, mainly because it's extremely hard to measure and observe which neuron they are studying at which layer. For that, you need to have surgical instruments, you need to have patients who want to implant, for example, these sensors within the brain. So it's very difficult to actually measure these different six layers and be able to distinguish what those studies is. About. However, in this particular studies, these scientists at the MIT, they did partner with many other institutions in the world where they did have access to, for example, people who had surgical implants in their brain for various reasons. And so for that reason, they were able to also extract data from those um, occasions where they had a possibility to uh, be able to go deeper into the deeper layer of the six layers of cortex 
uh, to extract data to be able to um, do their scientific experiments. With advances in technologies, we're actually getting more and more availability to have access to these type of instruments where we could potentially start studying the six layers of the brain more and more in depth. It is worth mentioning and repeating that these scientists were able to find these patterns not only in humans but also in different animal species and that's where the collaboration with other institutions came in because they had enough data that showed these same patterns in other animal species. So not only humans, but also the same patterns. It's like a universal pattern between animals and uh, It also appears that the brain's spatial organization is helping us to gather information which appear to be carried out on the high frequency waves. Where this new information carried on the higher frequency waves appear to be brought in to the memories that are stored in the lower frequency of brain. It is as if the superficial layer of the brain represent the external sensory information carried on higher brain frequencies such as gamma waves and the internal layers of the brain to represent the cognitive state of a person carried on lower frequency waves such as beta. The cortex seems to have multiple mechanisms both in anatomy as well as in oscillation to separate the external information with the internal information. These results also suggest that imbalance in brain waves could also lead to, for example, ADHD or schizophrenia where in ADHD, higher frequency waves appear to dominate the intake of sensory information from the external. And in schizophrenia, the lower frequency dominate and prevent the external sensory information coming in. This research is obviously extremely exciting to people such as myself who are in the field very interested in brain waves in general or electrical activities especially when it comes to relaying information retrieving information storing information what does inf even information mean when we talk about it at the cellular or the neuron level and how is that even possible that we can have a working memory or um, anything that has to do with brain waves information gathering retrieving etc